Called out here, Brian Rosari, Tom Poitras. Uh, you have to be happy with what you saw here tonight. Uh, it's been a week since you guys came back on the field and seen what the boys are hungry. Well, we, we knew, you know, that whole week, it, it's, it's great we needed the rest, but at the same time, you know, they, they were sitting stewing for, you know, five or six days over what happened last week that year. Uh, drastically different result tonight, and, and obviously a lot different feeling than it was last week walking off the jet kit after losing in the last minute. And, and now we get a big win, you know, not off the number one team in the league. Yeah, let's talk about uh, the first goal. It seemed like you guys were out of the gate being very aggressive. We talked about it in the pregame, uh, taking quality shots against quantity. Ty Sasserson right in the middle of the field. He does a really good job of surveying the defense. Your guys get back, you know, on sides to Santaga, to Bernard. Just talk about the momentum, really. Once you guys put that goal in, you really are on Christmas. Right well, you know, we talked a lot about we scored last week first, and then we, you know, we talked a lot about if we score first, we need to keep playing the game. And I thought we did a good job of that. But David, I thought, was tremendous. Today. I thought David Bernard was a good, you know, big, big factor in the game. Got off to a good start, was running at their defense, causing them all kinds of problems. Caused a couple of the fouls that maybe, you know, that guy sent off. Uh, because he's running at him so well, and, and then he gets the goal and gets rewarded for his hard work. So he was a big difference in the game, and him and Anthony have a good you know, combination and connection up there. And I thought Patrick did a real good job on the right, and he was very good on the attacking side of the game. Talk about uh, how there's a lot of cards in this game. I haven't seen a lot of uh, these too many cards in a long time, uh, but you always talk about how your team's got some good character, good head strong. They didn't get in the mix. They got some cards called against them, but three red cards in total against UMBC. The wheels fell off for them. Yeah, you know, I mean, I thought, you know, we did a good job early on going at them and that was the first foul, you know, the first couple cards were because we were attacking their defenders and they fouled and they just had a couple fouls in a row and got sent off for it. So, you know, I thought we created some of that. Now the last one was just, I think, you know, the frustration of the game for them and they kind of lost it a little bit there at the end. But and our guys did a pretty good job. I think we could have done a little better job with some composure when we were up 3-0, maybe keeping the ball a little more because we did have the two-man advantage. But, you know, we're living and learning, and, and this is a great step for our program tonight. We talked about it on the air. Um, you can't ever piece together 90 solid minutes. I thought you guys played uh, phenomenal here today. Closer to 80 stronger minutes. You had the one last with, you know, the penalty inside the box and the penalty kick. But you have to be very happy that you guys pieced together probably one of your better games to pick up the season. Yeah, for sure. You know, and, and I said all along, I don't think we're far off, but, you know, we haven't been able to get over to home, so we need to learn how to do what we did tonight. So hopefully this is a good step. You know, if we can carry this into Wednesday, you know, then it's a good step for our program. If it's just a, you know, one time and we don't carry that momentum, then we didn't learn enough from it. So hopefully we can take the message we got tonight, learn from it, and get better for Wednesday night because we still have two more huge league games we need to do well in. Well, like Tom said, they got two more games remaining. They'll have senior night coming up on Wednesday, so they'll be back here at Almerzik Field uh, very quickly. Senior day, so make sure you come on out. But a huge 3-1 victory atop of UMBC, heading their first loss in America East play, and the Hartford Hawks get their first win in America East play as well. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com for more information. Thanks for the alumni. A big night for our alums tonight.